Yo, how's it going, Poke Champs? It's your boy Infamous Trainer, and today we're diving into some absolutely hype information. And today we're talking about the Pokemon Journey summaries for episode 25, 26, 27, 28, and 29, man. So I am beyond excited to get hype with you guys talking about the next couple episodes, even though that the Pokemon anime is on hiatus. So let's dive right into it, man. Before we do that, though, I want you guys to please like up the video. Make sure you guys do share it out so other Pokemon trainers can see it. And please subscribe today and become a Poke Champ as well. And also, if you can, follow me on Twitter, man. We're talking about everything Pokemon, and a link to that is in the description down below. So, first, we're going to start with episode 25, probably the most hype episode for me personally. So, let's dive right into it. So, episode 25 is going to be talking about this summary right here. I'm going to read these to you guys because the text is just a little bit small. So, let's dive right in. So, it says, Ash has decided to enter the Battle Festival, a battle tournament held in the Kalos region. So, Lots of Pokemon World Championship participants are attending this tournament, so it's a gold opportunity to increase your rank. Ash is successfully winning his way through several battles, so you'll see Ash battle a couple different times. Uh, Satoshi, or Ash, ends up having a fight with Karina, and this is the fight that we are probably the most hyped about. We saw the promotional picture. I'll show you guys that right here, and that promotional picture looks freaking sick. Dragonite versus Mega Lucario. I cannot wait to see it. And it's, and it's going to kind of say here, uh, of course, Ash has battled Karina before in a previous match, but this match right here has some high stakes as this is a ranking match to the great ball tier this is a ranking match for ash ketchum how will he plan on beating her mega lucario so this is just so much to take in i am the most hype about this episode out of all the episodes man i am super hyped to see what they actually bring you know visually emotionally battle sake wise like i want to see it all dragonite this man has just been the huggable lovable dragon now i want to see him put the dragon claws on this Mega Lucario, so I'm beyond excited about it. So, episode 26 is gonna be next. Now, this one possibly could be a two part episode, so I'm a little confused about kind of why they did it this way, but either way, I'm gonna love it, right? So, it starts off talking about Splash Magikarp. So, Koi King is gonna be Magikarp. It says, Go has entered a Koi King high jump tournament, He ha but he is highly unlikely to win because his. Magikarp is so fat. That's pretty funny and very direct, actually. Uh, he then decides to train Koi King, referencing the bodybuilding videos made by Kasu King, which I think is a Pokemon kind of king at like Magikarp jumping. I don't know or, or have the actual like character, but there is a page of the character out there that you guys can type in his name, which is Kasu King, and it pops up a picture. And it looks like it's going to have also a slight guest appearance within the episode as well. So that's going to be the first part of the episode. Now the other part of the episode is going to be touching on put it on Yoda King, which is going to be Slow King, right? So that's a very interesting episode that we're going to go back and really touch on Slow King and kind of what it has to offer to the story. Now it says that Ash and Go has come to Yadon Island, which is filled with Yadon, which is going to be essentially Slowpoke. So it goes back to Slowpoke Island, it's filled with tons of Slowpoke as far as the eye can see, but then... But then we're gonna have Slow King that shows up as well, and a strange change comes over Ash. So what does that mean? Does that possibly mean that Ash is gonna catch himself a, a Slow King? Is that a possibility? Now that's something I don't personally want him to catch, but it wouldn't be a bad idea as it is a great rep uh, representation of Johto. But you know, I think overall this just may be the episode they go visit. It, I feel like it's too small of an episode for Ash just to catch one Pokemon and take it with them. Cause that would just kind of be bananas. I know this anime is on a different formula, but I just do, I kind of feel like it's a little bit much for him just to go and capture that Pokemon and kind of just leave, right? You want to build some more development on it. You know what I'm saying? You want to build a full episode or two on it. If it's more of a, you know, really focused in team member, like some other characters that Ash has actually caught for his, uh, you know, Pokemon teams. So jumping into the next episode, we were talking about Ash and Go have gone to the Gala region to watch an official Pokemon World Championship match. They're both super excited to see the battle between two trainers in the Master Class. So that makes sense, it's going to be at least one of the three characters being Lance, Raihan, as well as Leon. So reading the rest of it says, uh, this noteworthy match is between Leon, the greatest of them all, and Satoshi's ultimate goal and Kibana being Raihan, the gym leader of the Dragon Gym in Gala region and Leon's rival. 
and now the battle between these passionate men begin. Now this is going to be an absolutely epic freaking battle. I cannot wait to see what they bring forth with this, seeing those two go against each other as we've seen tons and tons of promotional art for Raihan just surfacing on the internet. I have a couple of them right here on the screen for you guys, but there's been so much Raihan merch and you know different screenshots and stuff like that kind of showing up lately, so this makes perfect sense. So, jumping over to the next episode, uh, it's going to be another one that's actually going to be focused on Sobble. It's going to be so, you know, kind of focused on our Pokemon here. So, while still in the Gala region, Ash and Go have encountered a timid crybaby Pokemon called Sobble. Sobble is cowardly and quick to cry, and the components of its tears cause Ash and Go to be unable to stop crying as well. So, of course, I believe in the Pokedex entry it does say that, like, Sobble's crying is kind of contagious or it's you know it's so I don't know how to really explain it but it can make you cry too um, not only that but since um, Sobble turns invisible when it touches the water it appears um, well sorry it appears its own tears make it disappear uh, so Ash and the others lose sight of it now I'm kind of confused about that Ash and the others is that possibly mean a new companions with Ash and go on this adventure and then Rocket uh, sorry, and then Team Rocket arrives in the Gala region. So we'll have Team Rocket come back in that episode, kind of show themselves. But what's really interesting is it says Ash and the others. So that means like Ash going someone else or Ash going their like main two Pokemon. Like what does that really mean? You know, as far as these characters go, man, I'm, I'm actually really excited to see this episode. Is this the episode where Ash or Go catches Sobble? I really need to know. I really need to know. If I find out that it's Team Rocket that catches Sobble, I will lose my freaking mind. I'm telling you. Now, last but not least is going to be the episode more focusing in on Koharu. I think it's going to be pretty interesting because it first talks about life goes on as usual at the Sugaraki household, the home of the Pokemon Professor, where the Pokemon, you know, Yamper, because they have a Yamper, which is called uh, when, when Pachi, when Pachi suddenly discovers a tiny pigeon Pokemon being peed of and takes it back to the family house. Now, when they take it back to the family house, it looks like Koharu as well as Soda, the two kids of the professor, decides to take care of this Pokemon, but over time, it seems that P-Dub is not very happy about being taken care of. So, this is another episode we can focus on Koharu. Maybe we can see more of how, you know, or what she wants to do, because at this point, she doesn't want to be a Pokemon professor. She doesn't want to battle like Ash. She doesn't want to, you know, catch Pokemon like Go. Like, what's her end goal? Does she want to be like a Pokemon breeder, doctor, kind of like, you know, Brock in the in the series? So, I mean, there's, there's tons they could do with it, but I do... And I really want to have, you know, Koharu on the team to actually be a third member, to have a full cast of three trainers kind of going around exploring the different regions. And I feel like if she is trying to be a Pokemon doctor or even a Pokemon nurse, right, this will be a great opportunity to see how other doctors and nurses take care of Pokemon. But there's so much hype with all these episodes. Now, for me specifically, I'm very excited about the Leon versus Raihan episode and, of course, the Ash <laughs> Ash Dragonite versus Mega Lucario episode that is going to be freaking hype But I want you guys to please let me know what you guys think in the comments down below I'm sorry. This is a bit of a longer video, but there was so much to talk about. I will see you guys on the next video Thank you guys for watching. This has been your boy infamous trainer and peace